Hi, just another quick video on this uh, new RTX 4060 uh, card that I've got and the AV1 uh, codec, which it has a hardware AV1 uh, encoder on it. Um, uh, just a follow-up video, I just used DaVinci Resolve, um, first time since I've installed this uh, card, and uh, what do you know? Bingo, check it out, it um, pops up with, ta-da! AV1. So AV1 is now an option. Um, there is no CPU um, option with AV1. It's just, it's detected, it's using the NV Inc uh, core on the NVIDIA card. So that is now an option. Pretty groovy. Um, so I won't waste any time. I've actually uh, re rendered just this uh, video, which I'm about to release uh, now, which is a 15 minute long, uh, 15 and a half minute long uh, video, just typical bench um, content, you know, moving stuff around on the bench and, you know, things like that. So let me give you the results here. So what I've done is I've done, um, I've rendered uh, both using AV1 and H.265, which is what I'm normally using now. I used to use H.264, but pretty much standardized on H.265 uh, now. And of course, when you do H.265, uh, you get a choice of the, you can use the NV Inc core, so GPU uh, encoding, or you can use native, native means CPU uh, encoding. So I've done all that, and then we can set the quality here uh, from least to best. When I render my videos, the type of content that I do, if I'm just doing my regular bench stuff or talking head stuff or something like that, I, I just set low uh, quality here because, you know, unless, like, I would choose something different. If I'm doing, I'd choose a higher uh, quality thing. If I'm doing downhill mountain biking videos or something like that, you know, outdoor content with lots of complex uh, stuff in there, you, you know, I wouldn't be using low, but that's a totally different thing. For almost all my content, I, I cannot pick the difference between low and best. <laughs> There's no difference whatsoever. If I'm just waving my hands around, talking head, you know, whiteboard or bench or something like it, like low is fine. And uh, for those for on the previous video, those who said, oh yeah, it's because the constant quality factor varies by codec. Yes, it does. It's going to vary by codec. Um, so once again, I don't know what this is, right? I'm going to choose automatic. Look, I can restrict to a bit rate, but that's not something that I want to do. As a content creator, I want to pretty much get like consistent quality regardless. So I don't want to have to think about what type of content that I've shot I and to set like a target bit rate or something like that. I don't want to have like complex video information, which then if I chose a target bit rate, which is no, it's just no, right? I just don't want to think about it. So I do, con that's why in handbrake transcoding, I, I use constant quality. I don't use uh, constant bit rate. And uh, so yeah, you can tweak the constant quality and then you can start pixel peeping and to figure out what the optimum constant quality is for which codec and stuff like that. You know, eh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's a huge rabbit hole, right? You can spend a whole week just a full time, just testing that sort of crap. Um, anyway, so I'm just going to use uh, automatic uh, quality here. All these settings are the same down here. Everything else um, is, this is uh, just uh, 1080p uh, content, 30 frames per second. And these are the results I got. So this is it. I won't bore you with any more details. Um, so the AV1 codec on low quality uh, factor uh, for the 15 and a half minute video, 634 meg there and uh the cpu on low so uh, on h265 cpu is half that basically um you know almost half that uh 349 meg there and h265 on medium so difference between low and medium for cpu encoding using my ryzen 9 um because cpu encoding everyone says that Everyone pretty much, all the experts pretty much agree that CPU encoding is technically better quality than GPU encoding, but so a better quality for a given file size, but it's slower. So, you know, th that's sort of like the uh, trade-off thing. So low and medium, you know, there's a significant file size uh, difference there, but I can't spot any quality difference at all between all of these <laughs> options. I just I just can't see it. Maybe if I go in there and still frame and pixel peep in a motion part of it, maybe I like, you know, but no, no, <laughs> I just can't see it for my uh, type of content. Anyway, I just thought this is interesting. And then uh, H265 
using uh, the NV Inc. Uh, NVIDIA GPU are 404. So and and that's on low. So CPU versus you can see that CPU is less, slightly lower um, file size. And technically, a lot of people say it's better quality for. But I I don't know because I don't know how does um, DaVinci Resolve implement this. I assume like it's a constant quality thing, right? You're choosing a quality. Well. It is, right? That's essentially what it's telling you there. It's a constant quality. Um, and But however they implement that, how the codec, uh, how the GPU decides to, uh, the algorithm for the GPU decides to do that uh, quality thing as opposed to the CPU algorithm, they're, they're differently implemented, eh, gets all complex. But there, there you go. Anyway, um, so low and medium from 404, almost doubles there, not quite, from low to medium there. But as I said, I can't pick the difference. Um, and AV1, low, medium, 634 to 1 gig there. So really, um, the constant quality, I'm seeing a similar sort of result here. The constant, as I did on handbrake for the constant uh, quality, like I can't like tweak the value, like I can't tweak a number in there as far as I'm aware. Like, you know, I can go down here. I don't know how, because this automatic, right, low, it, it hasn't grayed out this stuff. So I can still, oh no, constant QP. There you go. Okay, rate control. Okay, I, I've just always left it on the default, which is variable bitrate. So, I don't, yeah, it looks like, yeah, I can, I can tweak with that as well. So, oh, God. <laughs> it's all too hard. <laughs> it's all too hard. Anyway, for those uh, curious, there's just some results in DaVinci Resolve. I don't plan on using AV1. I'm just going to stake with uh, H.265. By the way, I did use H.264. Uh, using NV Inc. I didn't go any further, but compared, so that one and that one, if you compare those two, uh, yeah, the um, H.264, 889 meg as opposed to 759 for exactly the same encoder. So H.265 is a bit more better, you know. So yeah, I just use H.265. It's a standard now. Um, yeah, uh, YouTube support AV1. And yes, I know about all the streaming thing. I'm not a streamer, so you know it doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, there you go. Um, I've got a similar result under DaVinci and Resolve. Maybe I could play around with this rate control thing down here, perhaps. And you know, and then you can do like, and then you can experiment with two pass, right? You can get, and then tune in low latency. I've got high quality, and then two pass, whether you want two pass encoding and stuff like that. So if you really absolutely wanted to get the best quality, the absolute lowest um, uh, um, bleh, quality, uh, <laughs> so what am I thinking? <laughs> if you wanted to get the absolute best quality you could for a given file size, yeah, you'd put on like two, and you didn't care how long it took, you'd use CPU encoding, and you'd do like two-pass encoding, and you know, stuff like that, and you'd probably do constant quality, unless you knew exactly what the content was, and then you could tweak uh, the optimum bit rate, and you know, it's, it's complex stuff, right? <laughs> it's just, but my render, like, I don't really care how long my renders in DaVinci Resolve take, it's not really a problem. I finished my project. I hit render and like, you know, this is done. Oh, by the way, speeds. I can show you the speeds. Here you go. Speeds for reference. Ta-da. There they are. So one minute 12. That was for the AV1. There was no difference in speed between the AV1 medium and low. Uh, and then the CPU low here, CPU medium took two and a half minutes. Okay, so you can see CPU is like significantly slower. And then the NV Inc uh, took a minute five, so a smidge faster than the AV1, five seconds faster than the AV1, but no real difference there, really. Um, so yeah, there you go. I'm just gonna stick with H.265, I think. But it's good to know that, because uh, the AV1's kind of new, and a lot of people are saying, or well, some people are saying, like, oh, yeah, just, just avoid it, wait a couple of years. But it's good to know I've now got a video card that supports hardware AV1 encoding if I need it in the future. Anyway, catch you next time.